After the 2020 Olympics, Shadir Musawoji turned professional as he looked to further his career. The boxer signed with 12 Sports Rounds promotional company. However, the deal turned sour and Woj parted ways with the company. Professional boxing is a business. Uh, when we, we accounted and budgeted for our, <clears throat> our budget that we're going to be using per fight, uh, uh, we looked into it that we were doing a lot of losses. We saw that the, the, the fans turned up in a big number and we had sponsors on board still uh, that were sponsoring the fight, but still we made the same losses. Uh, the terms we had before he went back to the amateurs were that he was meant to compensate us uh, because we had invested in two of his events where he was uh, the main card, about 120 million. So 20%, which was about uh, 23 million or thereabouts, uh, but when we sat down with him, I mean, we saw he didn't have the capacity to pay back his money. Boji doesn't delve much into the details of the deal, but he touches a bit on the issues that didn't allow the two to see eye to eye. It was one-sided at one time, whereby we, we were putting or injecting a lot of time, a lot of money uh, in our training, uh, a lot of uh, branding and social media uh, and media... Uh, media penetrating, but at the end of the day, we see that we're getting a little uh, in what we are putting in. It's very unfortunate that uh, um, Shadi Omosa only remained at two fights uh, that we gave him. Then he opted out. When he had to fight the third fight, he requested us and told, uh, he wrote to us and said he wanted to withdraw from our contract. He was due a certain amount of money from the International Olympic Committee but needed to get recommendation from the Uganda Boxing Federation. He says the Federation stonewalled the issue and he lost out on the money. The problem came in when I had to go to the UBF on, in amateur boxing, whereby they had to sign on the, on the document that I could take to the, to the I, uh, UOC so that they send it to IOC and I start getting the scholarship money. Uh, they refused to sign on it uh, due to a lot of stuff that happened last year. Uh, I ref that I refused to sign on the uh, UBF contract of the Champions League. The former Bombers captain has big plans for 2023 and it includes growing his own brand. He faces Ivan Magumba next weekend in a title fight. I know Magumba is a boxer and he's been boxing for a quite good time and long, long years, but uh, on my side is my underdog because uh, I've been in the game, I've done it all, and uh, now this is the time so that I lift the belts. 